What's up guys and welcome to F1 2019. Uh, it's finally here and I'm actually kind of excited about this. So we've played a few of the F1 games back in the past. I'm definitely not a veteran by any means, but it was always super casual. We never really played through a full season or anything like that. So I'm hoping you guys enjoy this. I'm hoping we can make it through a 21 race season this time around. And uh, let's see what we could do, man. We've got the, uh, the wheel set up here. I'm also not a veteran on this thing, so we're going to be learning as we go. It should be a fun time. Right now, I've got the camera facing us. On some episodes, we might do like a wheel cam and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but um, let's just get into making our, uh, our driver here. So here we go. We've got to choose our avatar. I don't think you can actually choose or change any features like you can in some games where you can change like the nose width and everything like that. I think you just have a bunch of presets here. Choose your country and region. We are going to be from the U.S., First name, oh man, how do you, how do you hit the bumpers on a wheel? Trevor Martin looks good to me. Uh, what do we want our three letter initials to be? I'm gonna go with TMT, like the, the money team, like Floyd Mayweather, no, it's like, you know, T, T Mart, I, I, I think that's close, the closest that we could possibly get. All right, so we've got that. We're gonna go with our audio name. Just gonna drop down, hopefully they've got Trevor. Just kidding, we don't want Trevor, we want Martin here. They're gonna call us by our last name, obviously. So we've got that, and then for driver number, um, do they have seven? They don't have seven. Seven's usually my favorite number. Uh, let's let's go with the lucky number 13, why not? Career and leagues, the reigning champion is entitled to use driver number one. Eh, I don't care about that, I'd rather stick with my number. All right, I'm good to go. So we are gonna register our details. And we are solid. Let's get it, boys. Start up a new career. Here we go. In F1 2019, you'll be invited to start your career by selecting a Formula 2 team. Driving for this team, you'll experience some key moments of a Formula 2 season, a thrill-packed racing championship in its own right, and the springboard to Formula 1. At the end of this feeder series, your choice of driver academy and your performance in F2 will determine the terms of the contracts offered by the teams as you embark upon your career in Formula One and begin to write your own chapter of motorsport history. All right, sounds good to me. So this is a new feature this year. Uh, basically, it's I think it's like three races. It's just kind of like a, an intro to the main series. So depending on how well you do is who ends up liking you more and the better contracts you get and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. It's just like MLB or NBA or anything else where you play a little bit early. It determines how good you are and then you you kind of get offers based on that. So um, here we go. We are going to select our team. I'm going to be completely honest. I really don't know that much about Formula One, let alone Formula Two. I mean, I've always had like a respect and an awe for Formula One, but just recently I've started watching more. So like a lot of other basic people out there, I watched the Netflix Drive to Survive series fascinated me and uh now i've been watching a few of the races i just watched the the french gp recently it's kind of a boring one but i'm starting to get into it but i'm still kind of a noob so hang with me there guys but here we go um we've got carlin art dams russian time mp motorsport i'm just gonna pick i like trident that looks like a cool logo i'm gonna go with trident oh driver academy oh okay so whichever one you choose here this is going to give you kind of like brownie points with those teams at the end of your F2 career and you'll probably get better contracts. Like we've got the Mercedes Academy here, so it's going to get you bonus points with the Mercedes team, the, the Williams team, or the Racing Point team. That one, I'm not, I'm not sold on. I think I'm going to let you guys choose who we end up signing with at the, uh, the end of this episode, but I feel like it shouldn't be Mercedes. I, I feel like we've got to, got to try to beat Mercedes. So we've got the Ferrari Academy, which gets us in with Ferrari, Haas, and Alfa Romeo. We've got Red Bull for the Red Bull teams, um, Renault, McLaren, and then none. Okay, interesting. So Renault and McLaren are by themselves. That's kind of unfortunate. I wouldn't mind racing for either one of those. I think they're both really good teams. But I also, I want to have my options open. So I think, I think we're, we're going to go with Ferrari. It's not like we're, we're stuck with one of these three teams yet, but it's just going to get us those bonus points. I wouldn't mind racing for Ferrari. Might be a little bit too good, but Haas is pretty cool as well. Let's just go with it. We'll we'll do it up. All right. So um, we've got qualifying, practice, race distance, AI driver level. We're just going to leave it on easy for now because your boy is a noob. And let's get into this. Here we go. 
Event 3 out of 12 in May 2018. The third event of the 2018 Formula 2 Championship, a mechanical issue presented Trevor Martin with a stark choice, put the team first and cede the position to their teammate Lucas Weber, or deny Weber to pursue their rivalry with Devon Butler. Trident's new driver really commanding the race here. Devon Butler still ruthlessly giving chase. These two have been really scrapping it out for the early wins in the championship. And something's wrong. Butler sees his chance. Some kind of mechanical failure. No. Picking up speed again. It's unclear what the issue was. Can they still finish this race? Oh, shoot. Looks like an Is issue. Is going to be on us? Turbo. You've lost some speed top end but you're very close to the finish you can still compete and get some points here don't give up just do the best you can we're all behind you here we go boys i'm not in control yet oh oh we're gonna be in control at the end of this okay here we go oh my gosh all right whoa um our brake works but our gas doesn't work <laughs> so i tried the age-old trick of turning it off and on again and we have an accelerator pedal. Let's go, baby. Here we go. We are in action. Our first race of F1 2019. Your teammate is approaching and wants to get past. Repeat, Lucas wants to pass you. Come on, baby. So our teammate Lucas is behind us. He wants to get around us. Our turbo's out. That was the issue, correct? So we're missing some of our top end Again, speed. your teammate wants to pass you. I know you don't want to drop a position, but without your turbo, he's the best one to challenge for points further up the field. Are you Not sure about that, bro? You could be denying the team points. I got my DRS active. I mean, he's he's now, he's in P5 or P6, we're in P4. We've gone up a point. I don't want to be a bad teammate, but if he's... If he's not going to pass us, then we're not going to let him pass us. You know what I mean? We're not going to slow down for him. We're asking again. Please let Lucas pass while there's still time for him to make a challenge. I mean, granted, this is probably kind of like a... a, a up to the car behind is 1.9 seconds. Come on, baby. Got around him. Let's go. I realize this is probably like... Oh, gosh. We're really far on the outside here. This is probably like a scripted thing. Um... And we are in that default difficulty, which we probably need to think about bumping up, to be honest, now that I can see how easy it is for us to pass these guys. But still, you can't hold it against me. I'm three positions up on him. No way I'm gonna, gonna lay off for no reason. Okay, some people are gonna want to talk to you after this. Not letting Lucas pass has potentially denied the team valuable points. For now, race on, do the best you can. Valuable points, like my third place position? Hunting second right now? I'm not sure what I did. I just pressed something. I made that menu come up. Okay. We're getting we're getting a little a little crazy here. I'm being a little bit too aggressive trying to catch this guy. We're okay. Are we within a second of him? Are we gonna be able to activate DRS? I don't think we are. Okay, last lap. The car ahead, but be aware that these tires need to last till the end of the race. Okay. So we gotta take care of our tires. Also wanna try to catch Albon here. We're we're up on him. Oh gosh. Got him! That was a pretty smooth pass. We definitely need to up the difficulty, dude. Oh my gosh. I can feel my tires. They, like, this This thing is not handling well anymore. So now it's just a, a game of keep away. We just want to stay in front of Albon here. And make sure we secure this P2 finish. Should be some good points for us. Put good points for the squad. And the team hopefully isn't too mad at me. For not letting our teammate pass. Come on, baby. We might be able to catch him. Our rival Butler. So this, they were wanting our teammate to, to beat him. That's what they wanted us to go around for. So if we can beat him, that would be the bee's knees. DRS? DRS? Let's go. 
That's that's first. That's P1, baby. Please don't pop a tire or something ridiculous, dude. Nice move. Good job. These things, they, dude, it, they are not gripping. They are not. Oh, good. I was not paying attention there. Just don't let them around you. Final corner. We got it, boys. Let's go. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. So what were you saying about that, sir? About the, the whole turbo issue and letting our teammate buy? So another fantastic victory for Trident today. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebration. Let's go! Trident Give them that big old bottle of trophy. champagne. Congratulations to the entire Look at our team nose. <laughs> coming out on top in that amazing race. Oh, here we go. All right, so F1 drivers receive a lot of media attention, and how you deal with the press can have an impact in several aspects of your career. Interviews can occur after any session of a race weekend, according to what happened and how you performed. How you answer the interview questions can affect your reputation uh, with both your own and other teams, the morale of your R&D departments, and whether you become known for your sportsmanship or your showmanship. Consider your answers carefully, but don't take too long. You only have a limited time to respond to each question in an interview. Refusing to answer can frustrate the press, leading them to asking you tougher questions in the future. There you are. That was an exciting race. It definitely got people talking about you, which means I was able to secure a quick interview. Okay, we're all set over here. Just a minute. Remember, anything you say to the press can go very, very public. So be relaxed, but also be conscious of what you're saying and how it might come across to other people, okay? Sounds good. I think we're ready. Great. Is this like our agent or something? So Emma keeps telling me you're the one to watch this season. If that's true, you'll be doing plenty of these. Just remember, be yourself. And the more you can give me, the better this will go. Right, stand here. Turn a little this way for me. Perfect. Make sure you get my good side, girl. Ready? An exciting race today. Let's get your perspective. Can I have your number? No. So All you right. and Lucas are new to the team. How are you settling in? Uh, settling in well. So the season goes on, we'll find our rhythm. Don't need to settle in, I'm a professional. Team are doing a fantastic job and it helps that Lucas Weber is an exceptional driver. There we go. I want to ask, why didn't you let Lucas pass when your team told you to? I really don't know why they made the call. He wasn't that close. I gave the opening, but I wasn't gonna stop for him. I probably should have. I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize to Lucas Weber. I'm gonna be completely honest, dude. 100% honest. Well, that's everything. <laughs> I mean, I, I was willing to pull over and, and pull off to the side and let him pass us, but he didn't, he didn't pass us, bro. No, not now. Next time the team give you an instruction, follow it. It is not a request. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry, am I, am I interrupting? I can leave, or uh, actually, no, continue. Please. Can we help you with something? Oh, it was just uh, you with a better driver. <laughs> yeah. From my car, it seemed like you deserved the win. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> but the team gave you an order. You could have jeopardized it for both of us. You know, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you really don't have what it takes to be a champion. Lucas uh, likes to talk a good game about the whole uh, team thing. But the fact is, if you're in the same situation, do you really think he'd let you pass? I would. See the hesitation? Anyway, it doesn't matter who wins. Next season, I'll be spending my Sunday afternoons atop the F1 podium, while you two will be teaching kids to drive go-karts. Good luck, yeah? Look, I understand why you did it. But do you really think an F1 team would allow you to just drive however you want? Come on. I mean, he's got a fair point. Even if I was faster, if your team is telling you to stop, you should. All right, so the sixth event was a low point for Trevor Martin when an aggressive move from Devin Butler resulted in contact and the destruction of their front wing. Butler's penalty saw him brought back within range of Martin, but only, well, but with only a few laps remaining. All right, so Butler's going to be trying to uh, to catch back up to us. I, I don't like Devin. I like our teammate. I understand why he's upset. 
It's a bunch of egos, dude. We're all trying to make it to the big leagues. Just gotta, I, I'm gonna take care of my own. You know what I mean? Even though that was probably a, a bad move. Oh gosh. Look at them go. Devin Butler locked in wheel to wheel racing with his championship rival. Desperate to shut them down and stop them getting past. Oh! Contact. Butler simply left them nowhere to go. There was just no way for them to have avoided that. And look, there's significant damage. Not sure if that was down to recklessness or sheer aggression, but I'm sure the stewards are going to have something to say very shortly. Nail him. Nail him to the wall. Let's go, baby. All right, so he took our, our front wing off. He's still in this race. Got a new one in the pits, and, and now we're going to be back after it. Here we go. We're P11 right now, with five laps remaining. Okay, the stewards have awarded Devon a penalty. Push on, you can still catch him. You can still beat him. Okay. Sounds good to me, I'll do my best, man. Here we go. Try to get around these boys. Yes, sir. We definitely, I, I promise you guys, episode two will up the difficulty. Devon is coming in for a stop. Looking pretty good there. Slow it down through here. Woo! Dude, what a beautiful place to race. I don't even know where we are right now, but it looks amazing. Got Russell in front of us. In sixth place. P6. P6. So we're in tenth right now. Let's use our DRS. We should probably stay behind him. And then, and then okay, go around. Okay. Is seconds. My bad. M my bad on that one. That was my fault. We've got contact on the right there. But we're good. We're around him. We, uh, we definitely overshot that a little bit. Yeah, we want to stay behind him, draft him with the DRS, and then cut around to the outside. Not just hit the DRS and go around the outside. So we're in... P9 right now. We've got a few laps left. Got a couple of guys in front of us here. How are we going to get around them is the question. Woo! So we are in P8 right now with seven in our sights, and then Devin is in P6. I don't... Oh, I see him up there. Shoot. He's got... He's got quite a lead on us, but... We can, we can make this work. I don't think we're going to be go, able to go around the outside on this guy. But we can cut the inside, baby. Let's go. We've got DRS. Evan is next. Be careful if you go for the overtake. I thought you couldn't... Uh, I thought you couldn't use DRS if you were leading. I thought only the chaser could use it. Looks like Butler just moved up to P5. Shoot. That's going to be one more person we're going to have to pass, man. But they're both together right here, so... Maybe able to make something happen. Let's make sure we're ready for the DRS zone. I don't want to go for too aggressive of an overtake here. Like, I, I want to, but I don't. You know what I mean? Let's be smart about this. Here we go. Up into P6. We got Butler in front of us. We've got two laps left to be able to catch him. I think we're going to be able to do it. Right there. Dude, the, the problem is as soon as we try to pass him, he's obviously going to be super, super aggressive. Devin is ahead of you. Got him on the inside, baby. Let's go. Activated the DRS. Got right around him. Great maneuver. You made it look easy. We're chasing fourth place now. P4. Should be able to get... Dude, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm Lewis Hamilton out here, bro. I just... I got that Mercedes engine and I'm just straight dogging on people. I keep pulling up this... My thumb keeps hitting it when I turn right really hard. I don't know what I'm pulling up there, this but... This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. We're up to P4. We might be able to podium. That would be... Oh, we might be able to get P2, dude. Let's let's do a whole lap here. 
I'm kind of curious as to how you guys want me to do these videos. I mean, I'm I'm down to do the full race, but I feel like that would, in sixth place. P6. that would be really long, and I feel like maybe highlights might be a little bit better. I shouldn't be taking my hands off the wheel like that. DRS. Shoot, press the wrong thing. Sete camera. Ooh, he's locking up, dude. He's locking up. And the Carlin, I'm around him. What? Bella. Bella, what are you doing? Why are you... She's on like this ball. How did you even get up there? She was just climbing up on top of the thing. Bella, get down. Go. Go. She like turned my monitor and everything, dude. Currently in sixth place. P6. I don't... I don't think that's something that normal... Like real F1 drivers really have to worry about. Kind of on the outside of this turn here. We're good. Okay. So, it looks like we're going to take a P2. So, in the third race, we had a P1. This race, we're going to take a P2. I'm, uh... I'm not mad at it. Whew! Let's go, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Well done. Good finish. You stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Yes, ma'am. Well, that was a great recovery today. Did you think it was all over when you had the collision with Devon? As soon as I realized the car was drivable, I knew I was still in the race. Uh, everyone in the team put in huge amounts of efforts, and you can't let them down. Um, I'm going to go with that, dude. I feel like we, we owe our team some props. So did you ever think you'd get the place back from Devon? Um, amazed I did. Seen the finale seemed like the perfect opportunity to catch him. There's a huge gap. We have to race and see what happens. It's gonna be kind. I honestly was gonna call him out and call him slow. Up a lot of points recently. What do you think of your championship chances? A result or a reflection of the incredible work of the entire team. I don't want to speculate. I prefer to do my talking out on the track. Been carrying a lot of momentum. I'm gonna I'm gonna give the team props again. I feel bad for that first race when we completely Great. ignored him. Well, that's everything. Huh. What's up, bro? Well, what can I say? I guess there's no other way to put this, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry for ever giving you the common respect that all racers deserve, because you don't deserve it, neither of you do. That was the dirtiest driving I've ever seen. Ridiculous. I thought exactly. I'm taking my line, and I get smashed into? I'm fine, by the way, thanks for asking. Me. And then, I'm penalized for the privilege. You're unbelievable. You deserved every second of that penalty, maybe more. I mean, aside from trashing the car, did you ever stop to think that maybe someone could get hurt? Yeah. Me? Fine. But winning at any cost is your strategy, not ours. You better watch yourself. Whatever. Did you know what's so funny? Don't let him get in your head. He knows you're a better driver. So, on the track, stay away from him. He will try to force you into contact. That's how he wins, yeah? Let's get ready for the press briefing. It's good advice. But yeah, this is like so real. Like you guys know I, I oh, here we go. Hold on, I'll, I'll tell that story in a second. Uh, Martin and Butler were tied on points as they entered the final race of the Formula 2 Championship, but with Butler ahead by virtue of a greater number of race wins, Martin needed to score more points than him to claim the championship. Oh man. So we need to place ahead of Butler here. If we don't place ahead of Butler, it's all for nothing. So We're going to be we at uh, Yas Marina. Each and every event in the Formula 2 calendar has led us here. To here this, we go. The final event of the championship. And one that promises to be a spectacle every bit as exciting as we might have hoped. Look at all those yachts out there, bro. That'd be so much fun to watch a race from a yacht like that. So the Yas Island circuit offers 21 corners and a lap distance of around 3.4 miles. There are a few opportunities to pass with long straights and DRS zones in two places, turns 8 and 11. Plenty of close racing then, plenty of speed, and plenty of excitement for the fans, no doubt. All right, let's get into it. But yeah, like the, the whole egos and fighting and disagreements and like yelling at each other in the, the garages and stuff, totally okay, legit, like totally it. real. Last race of the season. All you have to do is finish in the points ahead of Devon, and the next time we see each other, you'll be the F2 world champion. No pressure then. Good All luck. All right. 
You can choose any of the five car presets by highlighting one. You can also click on a setup to customize any of these presets in detail by adjusting the sliders. Bro, I don't, that, that's the thing is I have no clue what I'm doing, so I'm just, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, wait a second. We're starting the race. Okay. Lights out at Abu Dhabi. Here we go, boys. So Butler's a few, a few places in front of us. I'm gonna try to be smart here. Dude, we haven't started a race yet. This is kind of terrifying. We're all like right in with each other. I don't even know how to look to my right. So I'm just gonna hope for the best and hope nobody's there. We're good. Okay, we've got our spot. We're in the lineup. We're P8. Butler's up in P3. Didn't have our best spot there, but like I said, I didn't want to get too aggressive. This is a long track. We've got some straights with DRS and stuff like that. We should should be able to make some moves. We're good. I don't know if those guys were fighting there or what. We got around them pretty easy. So we're up into P6 here. Dude, this is a... Start was okay. Now stay alert for threats around you. Devon is three places ahead of you right now. Yes, sir. Will do. This is a long track, too. We've got six laps of it. We should have more than enough time to be able to catch him. A little bit of contact there. We're okay. The good news is everybody is, is all bunched up together. Shoot. Not going to be able to catch him there. Every time I think we have an opportunity, it gets shut off. Woo, here we go. Dude, our engine on the straights is insane. Got a break here. We're just going to have to pass these, the, the, the front straight and then the back straight. We're going to have to pass them there. Really... We just have to be so careful, dude. So we beat him and we are a world champion. I would say that that's going to put us in a good spot for all those F1 teams that we want to join. I'm on that booty, bro. I know you're nervous. I know you see me in those rear views. All right, so we've been looking at the damage and we think you should be okay to continue. It'll cost us a little bit of time, but we're nearly at the end of the race. I think that's from when we, we kind of hit the the front wing on those guys earlier on we had a little bit of contact there but sounds like we're good i'm just i'm playing it super safe super simple here um all i'm worried about is just getting to that that straight we might be able to beat them on that front straight across the starting point try not to damage our front wing anymore come on baby oh we're gone Work that brings you up the place. We just got fastest lap too. DRS is now enabled. I'm just gonna fall in line. We're just gonna race like a normal human being, nothing too crazy. If we can hit DRS on this back straight up here, we might be able to get all the way up into first. It's gonna be happening here soon, boys. Come on, baby. Is this not a DRS zone? I would have figured that... Oh, yep. It is a DRS zone. We're catching up on first. Dude, the, the problem is we don't even need first. I'm, I'm not going to do it. I, I want to do it. We'll pass him later on in the next lap. I want to do it, but it, there's no reason to. Let's not get stupid. I'm just going to play this smart. We're going to take our win. And then we're going to have to up the difficulty for sure. I know you can like change the difficulty on your car. You can also make the AI more aggressive. So we're going to have to do a mix of both. Devin's in P4 at the moment. We'll adjust that throughout the, the series. Make it more... Ooh, no. The wing is not looking good. we got to get out in front of this guy, and then we won't have to worry about that anymore. But, um, yeah, we'll adjust it and, and make it more difficult throughout the series. Make things interesting. So if we get around this guy, we're going to be up into first place. And then it's just... Do whatever you do from here on out. Oh, he's not going to let us around him. We've got to be able to get around him here, though, right? With the DRS? Yes, sir. We didn't even have to use DRS. All right. So from here on out, we just... Oh, gosh, we're getting the speed wobbles. We just do our thing. Just do, do whatever we got to do. Final corner here, and that's it. Let's go, baby. Got to win. World champion. Well done. Good finish. Stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. That should give us 
plenty of bargaining chips. It's been my privilege over the years to witness a number of great sporting events, and here's another to add to that prestigious list. It's the ultimate dream for any racing driver. We have a new Formula 2 World Champion. Now we got to move into Formula 1 and do the same thing, baby. That's what I like to see. But yeah, those teams that we want to sign with, y'all are going to have to pay up. That's cool, dude. I like all the cutscenes and the story behind it and stuff. This is good. The racing's good, obviously, but... It's a nice bonus. First of all, congratulations. You must be thrilled. Thanks, babe. Appreciate it. Wow, you're the driver's champion. How does it feel? Despite some previous incidents, uh, best driver won in the end. Feels great, been close. Amazing, want to thank everyone on the team. We're just going to keep being a good guy for now. I think we want to so do that, that before we enter F1, end right? The season. How was the race for you? It was challenging, but the team really put it together. I never had any doubt in finishing the points, and that's all that matters. It wasn't easy, but it's a great race, and I'm pleased with the result. Again, give it to the team, baby. Wow, we've been hearing rumors of a possible future for you in Formula One. Care mm. to comment? Um, I would love to race against the best in the world. Appreciate your time. All right. Well, I think that's the end of our, our kind of like pre-career, our filler series. And therefore, I think it's the end of this episode. I think it's, it's going to be time to choose a team. Congratulations, mate. F2 champion. Hey, congratulations. Enjoy it, because it's the last time it will ever happen. Devon, it's okay to be upset. You came very close. Hey, we know things would have turned out very differently if I didn't get slapped with that ridiculous penalty. What is it with you and complaining? Look, somehow you managed to do a lot of things right today. It's great. You needed the win. I didn't. For me, this was always just a stepping stone to F1. Oh, you too. You too. You got your work out for you now that I'm gone. So you're going to have to prove to everyone it was more than just luck that got you here. Sure. Winning one race is luck. Winning the championship is talent. Really? Next time you use that incredible talent to ram into someone and steal all their points, remember they won't be as forgiving as I am. Always got an excuse, well, huh, bud? This has been a lot of fun. I gotta run. Yeah, things to sign, important paperwork and all that. I'm sure you understand. Ciao. So, with this big win, you're gonna be getting a lot of interest. All I can say is choose wisely, or else you might end up with someone like Devon as your teammate. <laughs> Come on, let's go celebrate. Heck yeah, man. Oh my god, that would be so awesome. All right, two months later, since the thrilling conclusion of the 2018 Formula 2 Championship, a lot of opportunities have begun to open up for you. Your agent, Emma, has called you into the office to make a final decision about your potential future in Formula 1. Uh-oh. Dude, I'm nervous. I'm excited to see who has the most interest in us. Uh, choosing which team to race for is one of the most important decisions in your Formula One career, so consider your options carefully and pay attention to each team's expectations. Highly ranked teams like Ferrari and Mercedes have faster, more competitive cars, but will expect their drivers to be achieving podium finishes right from the start of the season. They will quickly become unhappy if you fail to perform. Lower ranked teams have less competitive cars, but their expectations are easier to meet. They tend to be more forgiving if it takes you a while to settle into your career. Signing an up-and-coming driver like yourself will be a positive move for any team. As a result, when you sign your first ever Formula 1 contract, you receive a one-off bonus to your reputation with that team. Shoot. Multiple F2 drivers uh, on the route. Welcome. Come on in. Dude. Take a seat. I'm nervous for him. It's time we had the big conversation about your next move. Your performance at the F2 Championships last year got you a lot of attention from the Formula One teams. Some of it more positive than others. I'm not so concerned with who does or doesn't like you. You'll have plenty of time to win the doubt is over. But I am concerned with our choices. They're narrowing as we haven't shown commitment to anyone. Now, as your agent, my advice is to make your decision now. We can worry about comfort and finer points further down the line. I need you to review these. You've earned every single one of these proposals. So take your time, have a read through, and don't get too hung up on specifics. Let's get you a Formula One seat. Dude, all right, so it looks like everybody's available. Um, Ferrari, 
This team won't settle for anything less than race and championship victories, and they'll expect their drivers to perform the highest level. Of course, they want us to fight for the championship. Mercedes wants to lead the field. They actually have quite a bit of, quite a bit of, you know, value in us. You know what I mean? Ooh, Ferrari's attitude preference is showmanship. I kind of like that. Uh, Red Bull, uh, Aston Martin Racing, uh, compete at the front. Showmanship they like. Renault likes showmanship. Uh, Toro Rosso likes showmanship. Uh, McLaren likes sportsmanship. So does racing. We're not going to go with racing point. Haas likes showmanship. Alfa Romeo likes sportsmanship. And we're not going to be going with Williams. Um, interesting. So I, I definitely don't want to do racing point or Williams. I don't want to do Mercedes just because I feel like that's that's a cop out, dude. That's too easy. You're in the best car, that sort of thing. I don't want to like be guaranteed like that. You know what I mean? And like Ferrari sounds cool, but I'm also worried that they're kind of in that same position. I think something a little bit more mid range would be fun. I mean, like Red Bull's a good option. They're like a solid number three, so we could take a Red Bull and compete with Ferrari and Mercedes. Uh, McLaren could be the same thing, and I guess we could do the same with like Renault or Haas. I feel like, I feel like those are my five: Ferrari, Haas, McLaren, Renault, or Aston Martin, Red Bull. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I think it uh, it could be interesting, regardless. I guess Alfa Romeo is is the team that has the most interest in us, but I, I kind of want to be with like a young, cool, showy type team. You know what I mean? So I, I think that's what I'm gonna look at. Are these five? Probably not Ferrari. We're probably going to go for one of these four just to kind of be a little bit different. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Leave a comment down below. Whichever one has the most votes, then uh, we'll be sure to uh, to make it work. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.